My ability to jump in deep depends on how fast I can dash and dart. I've been running to improve my speed, but... I haven't sparred at all since my injury. There's no real way of knowing whether all that road work has paid off. <clears throat> but one thing's for sure. I won't stand a chance in the final if I don't dive in. No matter how hard it might be. I've gotta dive in! Mashaba, getting ready to go? Thanks for all your hard work. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I wish you wouldn't always be so grumpy. No wonder he has trouble making friends around this place. I'm sorry he's like that. Uh, oh, Kumi, I didn't realize you were here. I just came by to drop off something he forgot. Sorry about bad-mouthing him like that. I was a little frustrated. I know he's just a moody kind of guy. That's all right. You know, he might not say it, but he really does appreciate you. He's had a lot of difficulty holding on to other jobs, but it's been different here thanks to all your help. <laughs> well, despite his past, he's doing his best now. All he needs to do is learn how to socialize better. If the people here got to know the guy, they'd understand him and like him the way I do. After all, boxes are a little different than the rest of us. It takes a special kind of courage to go out there, literally risking your life on the ropes. Not just anybody can do that. I'm not too crazy about boxing. Huh? I watch how he trains so hard every day, suffering and depriving himself of food just to get punched and injured in a match he might win. And when he does win, that only means that he has to keep on fighting against stronger people. The thought of that terrifies me. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hi! You forgot your workout clothes. Aren't you going to the gym today? Ah, oh, come on. Your sweet little sister came all the way out here to bring you those clothes. Why don't you thank her? Don't worry. It's all right. He's got a lot on his mind right now with the upcoming match. He could still thank you. I should let you get back to work. So uh. long. A brother sacrificing for the sake of his sister. And the sister doing the same for him. Get in the ring. Let's do some sparring. But I'm not supposed to. The chief said it's okay now, so we're gonna help you out. Uh, chief? Is it really okay to use my fist? Sure. All those cuts and bruises should be healed by now. Get up there and show me the moves you've been developing in your shadow boxing. I can finally get back in the ring! Unfortunately, I can't throw flicker punches, so I'll just stick to long left jabs. If I don't have to think about my next move, I can throw them pretty fast. <laughs> you better brace yourself. Kid. Yes, sir. Even if you successfully dive in, your reach is too short to connect on Mashiba's face. Aim at his body first. If you hang in there and keep punching his torso, he'll eventually lower his chin. Right. Spire like you're fighting in the final match. Put your heart into it. Here goes. Get ready. Okay. This is your sparring partner for today. We brought him in from another gym specifically for your final tune-up. Hey there. He's an on-rushing style boxer. He's almost identical to Makano Uchi in height and physique as well. Wait, what about your headgear? I don't need any. Whoa, look at that! That other guy doesn't stand a chance. He can't even get close, let alone punch him. Not bad, kid. That's some pretty nice weaving, isn't it? It's all right. If he can continue weaving like that, Mashiba will have a hell of a time zeroing in. Here's the acid test. Can he dive in deep? I hope he can, but it ain't gonna be easy with those jabs flying at him fast and furious. Yeah! <gasps> oh, 
All right, you're ready for the match, <laughs> physically and emotionally. That Eastern Bloc rookie title's gonna be yours. Come on, be aggressive, jump right in. But that's kind of hard to do when these jabs are coming at me so fast. Well, if you can't do that at this point, you might as well throw in the towel. You'll be beaten to a pulp and losing the first round. I have to dive in. Dream on. <laughs> Dart was out of his world! Yeah, he dove in before that poor slob Kimura knew what hit him. He's weaving and dashing and darting like a real champ now, thanks to all that hard work he put in while he couldn't use his fist. That really caught me off guard! That punch of his is a real monster now with all that added speed! It's amazing! I can't believe how fast I shot forward! I've never moved so fast in my life! Hey kid! You'll be Japan's next Eastern Bloc Rookie of the Year! Right! At last the day has come. It's time for the final match of the Eastern Japan Rookie Championship Tournament. We're reporting from Korakuen Hall. The atmosphere here is charged with feverish excitement. Over the last six months, these elite boxers have battled hard to advance to the final. And now, today is Judgment Day. Which one of these warriors will earn the title of Rookie of the Year in the Eastern Japan block? Yes, we have a truly great card today, ranging from middleweight to featherweight. It's going to be a real thrill to watch them here today. Mashiba, you've done a great job training. You're even stronger than when you fought Miata a month ago. On top of that, your fine-tuning phase never looked better. This is your chance to win it all. Hmm. Tell me something I don't know. Huh? No way in hell that I'm gonna lose to that little dork. Well, we're gonna head up to the stands now. We want to scope out the competition in our own class. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be fine. Make sure you win that title. <clears throat> After all, we couldn't do it, so go win it for us! Well, of course, I won it without breaking a sweat, so I don't need to pin my hopes on you, but do your best huh? anyway. The guys around here need a little thrill. Go light it up, Epo! Knock that sucker's brains out! Looks like the kid's really feeling the pressure now. That's for sure. He's just been sitting there all this time. Mashiba's really gotten under his skin. He must be psyched out. He's usually moving around to warm up by now. Maybe he doesn't have to. Huh? Remember when you touched his shoulder? Didn't you feel the heat? That means one thing. His body's already in battle mode. All he has left to do is hear the opening bell. He's that ready. He's just containing himself right now. He's saving up his tremendous energy and waiting for the moment he can let it explode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's ready, all right. The winner is Ishiwata! Well, the junior lightweight winner didn't look all that tough, and that's a relief. But the lightweight champ was so strong, it's not even funny. Now for the seventh match, the featherweight division final. Finally, it's time for the most talked about match in this tournament, the battle for the featherweight title. This should be good. These two hopefuls advance through the most hotly contested block in the tournament, and here they come. The first fighter truly deserves the name Hitman after carrying the B-block with his deadly weapon, the Flicker Jab. He's Ryo Mashiba. And this young man climbed the ladder in the brutal A-block. He's the incredibly hard puncher who upset the odds makers by hammering Ryuichi Hayami into the mat in the first round. Ippo Makinouchi. Here he is. Ippo, win the bow. This is a truly exciting face-off. I can guarantee you one thing. This match won't be decided by points.
those guys out, dude. They really got their game faces on. Both contenders come to center ring. All right, return to your corners. The action's about to begin. Will the hitman mow down the opponent with his flicker jabs? Or will Makanouchi's pugilistic dynamite explode? This is an evenly matched fight. I hope you like KOs, because I have a feeling you're going to see one. No matter what, stick to close punches. Don't waver for even a second. Yes, sir. He might have a fatal blow, but it's useless if you maintain your distance. Stop him with your jabs and then nail him with your long arm advantage. Both contenders are ready for the final showdown. The time for speculation is over. We'll see who's got what it takes to bring home the title. Box. Huh? Makanouchi comes charging out of the gates. He throws a right. Mashiba slips the punch, but what a tremendous right cross. It's got the audience really fired up now. Get a load of that. He usually starts out cautious, but look at him now. It just shows you how stoked he is. Mashiba's establishing his distance. Now that's long range. <laughs> He's already getting into his hitman stance, preparing to unleash those flicker jabs. He's going for it already? And now, Makanouchi's ready to respond with his own peekaboo style. Ha! <laughs> no way he can fight at that distance. He's bluffing. Looks like Ifo's first punch scared the crap out of him. You think so? Huh? I'm gonna work my way up to the edge of his striking distance, and then jump right in in a flash. Not yet. I've gotta get a little closer. What the? He connects with the right. Mashiba lands the first blow. I hate to break it to you, ladies, but that's his striking distance. Uh, uh, impossible. I checked his striking distance on the tapes. I can't believe he reached me from there. <laughs> now, both contenders are in a stare down. Mashiba's measuring the best time to launch his barrage. Meanwhile, Makinouchi's edging forward to shorten the distance. The difference in their reach is so obvious. As long as they're apart, he doesn't stand a chance. What an incredible reach! No use worrying about it. No matter where I am, he can nail me. Unless I step forward, I'll never win this match. But now that I've seen his awesome reach, I have no idea when to go. Damn it! What's he thinking? He spent all that time practicing his weaving, but now he's too fired up to remember to do it. <sighs> Makanouchi continues to try to work his way inside. Should I time my move to Mashiba's swings, or should I dive in out of the blue? An awesome barrage! <laughs> Makanouchi's stunned. He can't even respond. <laughs> Makanouchi backs away and covers up. <laughs> but still, he can't get out of striking distance. He's on the rope. He'd better look out. Mashiba's well known for skillfully finishing off his opponent. That idiot! How could he fall for that obvious fate? Yeah. What a move! He threw off those flicker punches and busted his cheek wide open. <sighs> The uh, chopping right. He slips away. Makanouchi managed to escape, but still, Mashiba's extremely strong. Makanouchi never even had a chance to counter. His flicker jabs are sharp. And that chopping right's so heavy. I thought he just fought Street Fighter style. But his combinations are brilliant! He's incredible. Truly strong. That lousy bastard! He passed up the perfect chance to finish him off on purpose! So he's gonna torture him little by little? He's probably just keeping away while Ippo still can put some real power into his punches. I've gotta hand it to him, he's a wily old fox. Oh! Machiba's on him again! Bob your head! 
head. You're really gonna hurt later from all of those punches. That's not good. You can tell by his expression that he can't even hear the chief. Yeah, he needs to start using his head. This is the time when he really has to be clever. Actually, I think his state of mind might work huh? for him. Just look how pissed off he is. Almost irrational. That's how his eyes looked when he was training to counter Mashiba. Wow. He really is a force to be reckoned with. So then... Why? <laughs> look at that guard. You look like a scared little crab boy. How long you think that ploy's gonna last? <laughs> If you're this strong, then why... Why did you pull such a dirty trick on Miata? Makanouchi's bopping and weaving now. It's completely thrown off Mashiba. He can't find a target for his next barrage of flicker jabs. Come on, keep going. Keep punching from the left or he's gonna jump right in. <laughs> The first round is over! All right, break it up, you two. Back to your corner. We've just been handed the scores. They're ten to nine. Mashiba carried the first round. But this match has only just begun. The next round should be a doozy. So, now that you've seen him in the ring, what do you think of his ability? <sighs> He's strong. Mm -hmm. I thought he might be kind of a crude fighter, but his techniques are brilliant, and he's got that long reach, too. That's right. But I saw how to jump in deep. I'll go for it next round. Good. But just because you did it a couple of times before, don't expect it to be a breeze. Be sure to keep moving, and hit him with your right when you dive in. Don't forget those two points. Yes, sir. Good job. <clears throat> this guy's been studying the Hitman style of boxing, and he knows its weak points. And on top of that, he understands exactly when to jump in deep. You've got to change the way you're fighting. Are you listening to me? You don't want to let him in too close. He's got awesome destructive punches. <laughs> huh? Destructive power? Yeah, he's got it all right. But that's exactly what's going to get him in the end. That little wimp's going to destroy himself with his own powerful punches. <laughs> Now, the second round. Makinouchi comes out bopping and weaving again like we saw in round one. How's Mashiba going to counter? He's going for the Hitman style again. Ebo didn't do so hot in the first round, except for that last move when he almost nailed him. That's true, but I think he's still got a real chance in this round. His hard right almost sunk in. Something's fishy. Ebo's already exposed his strategy to attack from the right, so why isn't Mashiba raising his guard? What an amazing turnaround! Makinouchi's on the attack! Yeah, that's it! Keep the heat on him! You can dive in any minute now! He's on the ropes! This is my chance! This is it! Alright, you're in! Body's wide open! Oh, God. <laughs> Makinouchi just landed a powerful right! <laughs> now didn't that sound nice and pretty? Ah. 
elbow block. Block. A fighter uses his elbow to stop an opponent's punches. It's a treacherous technique. It not only stops the punch thrown at your body, but it also damages the opponent's fist. But still, I have to keep on punching. I've got to turn this match into a close range fight. My kind of fight. And if that doesn't work, I don't stand a chance. It's the only strategy I know and believe in. Next round, deathmatch. 